they've had a crack at to to beat it in the market. We'll begin okay. May put pressure on Crusher Enemy for that challenge for the early position. Green light goes on. There's no more bets. Uh, favorite box five. Crusher Enemy was set to go away. Began okay. Bella Sweet chopped the cross in front of it. Actually worked to the inside there, Crusher Enemy. Bella Sweet got across. Got on a hill slightly. He's got some ground to make up. Now he surges and he goes to the lead from Bella Sweet. Behind those, Emily Red battling on with Compulsory Hero and running on was Mississippi Blue. But Crusher Enemy does that. Second. Ah, uh, look, it was Compulsory Hero, Bella Sweet and Mississippi Blue. Behind those, we had Crazy Dream, uh, Christie's Lad. Emily Red pulled up quickly with Joe Blake near the tail end of the field. And the well-supported favourite wins as expected. And in the time of 19.03. Got under the hills there at Bella Sweet at some stage, but then he sort of went underneath her and pushed her out the way, took over and went on to win quite convincingly. Compulsory Hero, as usual, running on strong at the finish. Had to weave a passage, but Crusher Enemy had too much advantage over him, as was expected, because he's not a quick beginner compulsory hero. And he was one of the last out, and what made it worse, he stumbled a little bit at the start as well, whereas Crusher Enemy, who surprised me a little bit, shifted to the inside before he went to the outside. He usually likes to get to the outside, but he did shift to the inside underneath at Bella Sweet early, and then found his uh, passage. It went on to win comfortably and compulsory here. A good effort to get into second placing. Five six seven two. Five six seven two. The judges' numbers. Five six seven two. Three lengths by one and three quarters. Three lengths by one and three quarters. The margins. Nineteen zero three was the run.